what's going on everybody? It's Ryan with Tundra4x4.club and today we're going to go over some towing with the Tundra in that tow haul mode. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so today I've got to take the travel trailer uh, to get some warranty work done before uh, it expires. So while doing that, I thought we would go over the tow haul function of the Tundra. So the tow haul function, you got this little button here, and after that you'll see uh, an amber light come on that says tow haul. Uh, actually, there's a uh, there's a great video on what happens with the, the tow haul mode when you're not towing something over on uh, Tundra Dude 34's page. So if you haven't checked that out, you should do that right after this video. And that actually got me thinking about some other things I want to do with this tow haul function. And we're going to do that in the next couple weeks, which is we're going to check the tow haul mode in an off-road environment. And we're going to see how much more performance we can get on some hill climbs and some things like that uh, while using the tow haul mode. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Hit that little bell icon so you can see when we're doing our other videos. And let's get into this. So tow haul mode is kind of ingenious. Basically, once you hit that little button, it re-triggers the computer and resets up the, the gearing. So you're staying in your low end gears for longer. And when you're towing with with a load, then it, it really makes the truck feel like it, there's nothing that you're towing, especially this Tundra with 10,300 pounds in towing capacity. Uh, we're not even getting close with this travel trailer. I want to say the gross weight of this travel trailer is around 6,400 pounds. So I can't even tell really besides looking in my rear view mirror if I'm even towing something. So that tow haul mode, when you turn it off, and even on a flat straightaway, I'm on a flat straightaway right now, but when you turn it off, it almost seems like the engine is trying to search for the, the right gear to be in. It kind of floats in this, in this gray area. But when you have the tow haul mode activated, that gray area goes away and it's really torquey. If I wanted to, I can get on the gas. If I have an opportunity, I'll do that. And this thing will start pulling away like nothing. So the tow haul mode, great feature to have. Something that you want to use every single time you are towing. It makes the world a difference on the transmission. But I do really want to check out this tow haul feature with an off-road environment. And I've got a couple hills in, in mind where uh, this, the Tundra kind of struggles towards the top. And now I do want to see if, if we were to use this tow haul mode and change up the gearing a little bit, would we be able to get through that, that struggling point? So make sure you stay tuned in the videos. Uh, we're gonna have it coming up in the next couple weeks. Actually, next week, we're planning on a five-day desert trip for the new year, and we should have a lot of good off-roading footage. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, so one of the things I did want to talk about, though, with the tow haul mode uh, is going to be the gas mileage. So I've been on the road for approximately an hour and a half, and right now we are at 10 miles a gallon. Not all that great for towing, but uh, it'll work. But let me know what you guys all think about uh, doing a video on the tow haul mode, not towing anything, but in an off-road environment. If that's something you want to see, let me know down below. So that's pretty much it for today. Just a quick, short, simple video on your tow haul mode. Make sure you're using it every time when you are towing a load. Don't forget to check out that video over at Tundra Dude 34 on the tow haul function when you're not towing anything. It's actually a lot of fun to watch and it gave me some creative ideas. So until next time, we'll catch you on the back roads.